Welcome to a brief video overview of the Japan Unix desktop soldering robot sold and serviced exclusively in North America by Fancord Industries. The desktop robot has four axes, X, Y, Z, and rotational, and are available in four sizes with a working area up to 500 by 500 by 150 millimeters. The 150 millimeters is uh, the standard components include the solder feeder, with, which is here, with our graduated angle setting down below so we can record the angle of our solder feeder, and very easy to reproduce solder feed positions. Our soldering head is right here with our iron for point-to-point -point or line soldering with a 200 watt heater standard and easily replaceable heater block to quickly change tips without cool down. Next we have a standard tip blow-off mechanism with vacuum to keep, keep the tips clean. We can program the robot to come down and blow and vacuum away the debris. Uh, rugged solder tips, as we see right here on the desktop, with black chromium plating over, an, over iron with an average life of 25,000 solder joints. Uh, next we have a switch box housing with a start and e-stop switch. Uh, next to that we have a teaching pennant with a large LCD screen to program all soldering conditions and robot path. We back up onto the robot on the solder feeder we also have sensors to detect solder jam and solder out. And also included is PC software for managing and editing soldering program data. Um, that's an overview of the basic components and now we'll look at uh, some of the options. Options include nitrogen generator for lead free application which blows nitrogen around the tip using this tube and cap. The nitrogen is fed out of the generator and is brought in by this clear hose. Blows around the tip. Another option is a clean cut solder feeder that makes a lateral slice in the solder as it feeds and um, will help to release flux to improve flux dispension. Uh, we also have as an option, a, which is not shown here, is a solder wire preheater which would mount right where the solder tube connects and that would basically preheat our solder wire to reduce solder balls by uh, that can be caused by thermal shock when running a high temp application. Uh, another option that we offer is a lock-on mechanism to lock the solder feed wire position and prevent a, a, a defect due to feed position shift. Uh, that is not shown but the lock-on would mount right here also and has uh, X and Y adjustments. Uh, we also have a needle swing mechanism which will allow the needle to swing out of the way if we are using our brush cleaner. Before we can send the tip down into that brush cleaner we need to have the needle actually pneumatically swing out of the way uh, to allow access for the brush cleaner. Uh, another option is a CCD camera which is this little guy right here um, and a monitor which are for visual aid, make programming easier, and allow the operator viewing of soldering. And if we bring the iron down, which I'll do, we can see that we can actually see the tip and the solder feeder. Um, another option, which is not shown, is a nitrogen preheater, which will preheat the nitrogen and can give you a preheating effect uh, for your uh, soldering your parts, which is usually installed within this tube. Uh, this tube is replaced and another tube is inserted that has the heater built into it. 
Uh, the other option that we didn't mention was the actual brush cleaner itself, which is right here. Uh, we can program the robot to go into the brushes and clean the uh, um, oxides off the tip, usually for high temp, uh, high oxide ap applications. Um, another option that we offer also is an XYZ um, correction mechanism which in the event of a tip change out or a physical crash of the robot we can have the iron come down and touch the three pads and do an offset to get the robot back to where it was originally. We actually teach the position prior to any programming and then if it's knocked out of position we can send it here automatically correcting. Uh, last but not least we also offer a fume extractor for the robot which would mount on the head and then a corrugated hose would drop down behind uh, adjustable to remove fumes. Um, we can also provide a bench top enclosure with a light curtain. Uh, alternate robot platforms are available for inline production that include a SCARA, Cartesian, or six-axis six multi-articulated robot. Uh, that concludes the uh, brief overview of the system, and thank you very much. Okay, let's watch it uh, solder that small uh, bar now. Hang on a moment. Okay, it'll blow clean and then go solder. 